Hey, hey, hope doing well. Let me show you how you can set up a course as a membership or a subscription using the limited time access feature. So let's say you have this course here, the membership, and you want to offer it as a subscription. Something like that, where they can either subscribe on a yearly basis or a monthly basis. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go back to um, Shopify admin and um, go to products and to the specific product that we created for this course. Here, we want to make sure that we create um, multiple variants, um, one for each time frame that we want to offer. So I created here one for monthly and one for yearly. Um, second thing that we want to do is we want to use a subscription app. Um, in this case, I'm using the, um, let me show you here, the Shopify subscription app, the native one by Shopify. It's completely free and it's great um, for basic subscriptions. Um, we support, by the way, all subscription apps, um, so feel free to use whichever works best for you. And by the way, the reason why I decided to integrate Develo to all subscription apps is because that I believe that both for you and for your um, clients, it's best if all subscriptions will be in one place, both digital products and physical products, instead of having um, digital products managed in one place and physical products um, subscriptions managed in another place. So anyway, um, let me show you how it looks inside of um, Shopify subscription app. So we're going to go back to Shopify admin, click on apps, and then the subscription. And here we're going to go to plans. And in this case, I have two plans, one yearly and one monthly. Um, set up very simply. The monthly one is only connected to um, the monthly variant inside of the membership product. Um, I do not offer any discount in this case, but you could if you want. And same goes for the yearly, right? So the yearly, um, one per year here, no discount and connected to um, the yearly product. Next, we want to go to Tevelo and we want to connect it. So let's go to courses and the specific course that we wanted and then course settings. And here under auto enrollment products, this is where we want to click on add product and we want to select both um, variants that we created, right? Next, for the monthly variant, we want to set it to limited time access and enter 32 days. Um, I like to enter 32 and not 31, just to give them one extra day in case their card um, is failing or something like that and the subscription app is trying to recharge them they will not lose access. Um, for the yearly, same thing, we're gonna select limited time access and enter 366 days. Um, and yeah, we're gonna click save and we're done. Um, every time somebody is gonna purchase the monthly um, <coughs> variant, they will get access to 32 days. And every time the subscription recharge them, we will extend their access by another 32 days. Um, if they um, cancel at some, time they will lose access at the end of the 32 days cycles um, and say go same goes for the early if somebody purchased the early version uh, variant sorry they will get access for a year and then after a year um, the subscription app will recharge them and when they do um, we will extend their access by another year um, please let me know if you have any further questions or if there's anything else i can do to help thank you bye bye